Hi guys, my name is Evan from the Lumando channel, and today, instead of a video, I'm going to show you guys how to kind of crash course into Sony Vegas. Um, I'm using Sony Vegas 11 right now. 12 came out not too long ago, but there's no really huge difference between 12 or 11, so I'm going to hop right into this, okay? When you open Vegas, this is pretty much what you're going to get aside from this tr trimmer window being off. Some general layout like this. Um, I'm going to go over this real quick. Start off, I don't use the trimmer to edit. I, I, I love the timeline to edit, so forget that because most people don't even use the trimmer. Um, when you get into Vegas, you'll get th uh, these tabs right here. Video Effect, Transitions, Project Media Explorer, and Media Generators. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to import clips and easily cut them and use transitions and whatnot the basic way. So you're going to go to Import here and you're going to go to Media. You're going to find what media you want to import. So I'll import these, these two clips here. So import them right on. Okay, so now you have two clips in the Project Media folder here. Now, say I want to work with this clip right here. I'm just going to click and drag it onto the timeline. Pretty much basic. Um, I have there's this thing called a preview window up here. I mean, best for best playback, you can put it like that, but um, it'll lag a lot. So when you're going to editing, try dropping down your your preview window to um, draft quarter or preview auto. It doesn't matter. I, I usually put it on draft auto or draft quarter but I know it looks crap but you'll be able to edit through and say you're editing a music video the sync will be dead on so now you get your clips on the timeline you have two tracks or you have a video track for the clip and the audio track for the clip okay say you don't like this clip for whatever reason and you want to trim it up you can either go to the back of the clip and you see this little how it changes over to this little rectangle two arrows here and you just click and you drag in pretty basic click hold and drag um, if you want to split this clip, just hit the S key. Easy as that. And I have auto enable snapping on here, so it's like magnetic. So if I drag the clip close to each other, you see this blue box right there? It will snap. If I take snapping off, the clips won't snap, and it's harder to put clips together to each other. So that's why snapping is important in this here. Uh, say you don't want, say you want to re, this, you didn't want to split this clip, so you just go to kind of I I I like to con, con, control Z things and it's back to normal. Um. That being said, um, say you want to add a little fade intro to this click. You just click and drag. See how this like half circle comes up with the two arrows? You just click, drag, fade. Easy as that. Upper left-hand corner right here. Click, drag, fade. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, so I'm going to split this clip here, and I want to put a transition in here. So I go over to the transition tab right here, and I can put whatever I want. Ooh, I like this spin. So I click and hold the transition and put it in between the two clips because you're transitioning into the next clip. So, bam. This comes up. Don't really worry about this. This one, though, is your choice whatever you want to do you can have this transition have more spins I just put it up to two draft auto preview window so the transition will be smooth it's short if I want to make the transition look longer to see how it looks just drag it out more like that and then go on through it when a hobo drinks milk, he doesn't use a glass. and that transition worked great like that um, we're not gonna worry about project properties today but here's mine if you want to look at them for a second five four three two one that's really the best for YouTube and it's it's really your game from there on. I'll show you how to put in a clip, fade it, split it. Um, say you don't like, say you don't want the audio to be attached to the clip. You just hit the U key and bam, the audio is separated. To re-add it on there, you just control on the audio, control on the clip that you took the that you took it from. Go to create new group and it's back on. Easy as that. Um, this is just a really crash course, basic, basic, basic tutorial in Sony Vegas on how to just get clips on the timeline, how to edit and fade. And I'm, I haven't touched too much on audio. Just guys, really work with it. And if you want my YouTube render uh, format settings, just pop me a message in the comments and whatnot. All right, see you guys.